Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in a very personal space right now. You're seeing me in the morning with my robe on, doing my skincare routine. You're really up in here, but I feel comfortable with you because we're like, we go way back. So I actually really wanted to make this video to share with you my winter skincare routine that is very different than my summer or regular one. We've been battling some dry winter and I have a really sensitive and very dry skin. So it's been tough on this girl. So I'll take a minute of silence. But I have found products that worked for me and as I mentioned, I change my skincare routine pretty often. You know, I'm always very in touch with how my skin feels and I wanna make sure that I supplied whatever it needs. So I'm gonna share with you the products that I use and the steps that I take in the morning and at night. At the moment, I've had a few hormonal breakouts due to girl stuff. But otherwise my skin feels pretty good. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you is that I cleanse every single morning and night. I use this cleanser usually, the cleansing oil by Burt's Bees. I love using oils on my skin. When I wear makeup and I use a cleansing oil, I'll double cleanse with another cleanser, like a mild cleanser. But in the mornings, I'll just use the Burt's Bees cleansing oil. It really feels like it cleans up my skin, but it doesn't strip it from its moisture, which is really nice. This is with coconut and argan oil, so it really nourishes the skin. It's also really great for makeup. If you guys haven't tried taking makeup with oil, so good. I'm looking at you, but I'm looking outside because it's yucky and raining and snowing, but it's fine. It's nice and bright here. Wash my face. Squeaky clean, don't get scared of my nose. That's my thing, I get red right away. So once I'm done with cleansing uh, with my oil, I'm using this Evan Healy Rose Graninum Facial Tonic. Every time before I start anything, I'll use a tonic or a rose water spray, whatever it is. I always like to try new things and I'm really loving this company. It like centers me. I just use it whenever I feel like my skin needs a little pick me up. So I try different brands all the time, but even like a classic rose water from Tires that I always recommended in my previous videos, I still use it. You can find it in most health food stores and in most drugstores to be honest. So these are some great things to kind of keep in your bag during the day, during winter to wake you up. And it's just amazing even during the summer to just refresh the skin. It really kind of brings a little like glow. Once I have that on, I started using this serum. It's also from the same company. It's also Evan Healy. And it's a blue cactus beauty elixir. Elixir. Mm -hmm. And this is specifically for dry skin. As you know, cactus is growing in the desert in a very dry environment. So it is extremely high in vitamin E and really helps with cell renewal. And also it has uh, fatty acids that really help with wrinkles and helps with plumping the skin and just makes it feel firmer. So while I still have some moisture from my tonic, I'll put two or three drops of this and this will be my serum and I'll just tap it in and put it all over my skin and my neck. You don't need a lot, you need about two to three drops. I guess it depends on the size of your face. But this really helps with locking some moisture and hydration. After this serum, I'll use the Tata Harper Restorative Eye Cream. And I'll just apply it here. I started using eye cream more now towards my late 20s than ever before. If you guys are in your early 20s or your teens, I'm not sure you need a specific like eye cream. You just want to make sure that you kind of hydrate and moisturize the area. It's a very sensitive and thin area. You want to make sure that you hydrate it and you can do it with almond oil, which is a great natural option. Once I'm done with that, I am on a Tata Harper kick. So I've been using one of her products now. This is a reparative moisturizer and this is for dry skin. So everything that I use at the moment is for dry and sensitive skin because I need it. I make sure that I moisturize my neck as well as my face. And when you put cream on your neck, you wanna make sure that you take it up instead of pulling it down. 
I like to do this little kind of massages when I apply the cream. Just a little bit here. And this is my daytime skincare routine. For nighttime, my routine is pretty similar. I'll use the Burt's Bees oil to cleanse my skin if I have makeup on. And once I use the Burt's Bees, I'll use a gentle cleanser. The only thing that changes for me for nighttime is I use Rosehip Facial Serum as my nighttime oil together with the cactus, especially because, again, I need all the help that I can get. I'll use like one to two drops of this and then two drops of this together. So I'm all oiled up. Rosehip oil, this one is special is so silky and it really soaks all in. It's rich in beta carotene and omega-3 and 6. I'm just reading here because I can't remember. Uh, minimizes appearance of hyperpigmentation which is brown spots and smooths fine lines and wrinkles and it really absorbs instantly into the skin. I have to say like I've been using a bunch of different oils and this has been really great. I got it actually from my facial lady. I go for a facial usually every like month and a half to months even but I have to say that during this winter time I've been going every like three weeks just because I feel like my skin has been cracking and it just really needs some love yeah and then I can show you guys some masks that I really love and that I found really help I use this hydra clay clay is wonderful for your skin uh, it really helps to shrink your pores and just take out toxin from your skin for me I always want to make sure that the clay masks that I use don't dehydrate my skin too much so these two are my go-to's and I'll do these once to sometimes twice a week because I'm like really into preserving this. This is by Ole Henriksen and it's Nurture. This is the Hyge, Hyge, Hyge Hydra Clay Detox Mask and it has five botanical oils and it's a wonderful, thick, good mask that you can put on and once you take it off it doesn't feel like your skin is like and the same is with this Goddess Skin Clay Mask by Charlotte Tilbury has been my favorite for a long time and I'm kind of like alternating between these two. Another mask that I've actually featured a couple of times in my Instagram stories is this one by Pharmacy and this is the Honey Potion. This is a hydrating mask. So it's just like kind of jelly. It's literally like you're applying honey on your skin and then you lather it a little bit and it becomes like a white mask and you feel the warmth. You feel like things are happening. It's it's really cool. I leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes and once you take it off, your skin feels like a baby skin and it's really plump and hydrated and feels, feels good. It feels good. Not gonna lie. So these three masks are definitely my go-to's this winter time. And another thing that I actually like for any one of you that are maybe looking into finding a moisturizer that you can find in drugstores, this one by Aveen, which is the rich texture one, is amazing. It's super clean. There's not a lot of ingredients in it. Hypoallergenic, and I've known like all the people that have been using it been loving it so if you guys are looking for a thicker moisturizer to help you during winter and harsh conditions like this this has been great and i actually finished it so i'm not sure why i still have it once i'm done with all my skincare i started using this lip balm you know how lips are so important and the winter is just killing it so i've been using this drunk elephant lippy balm i actually really like it i've been carrying with me anywhere they actually also say that you can use it for the eye area so you can do that as well for nighttime i finish my routine with this laneige lip sleeping mask and this is just kind of a thick layer of lip balm that just really hydrates your lips and when you wake up it still feels like you have like a mask on your lips so it really makes it intense hydration overnight mask and that's it you guys this is all i've been using i'm gonna link all the products in the description box i hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys have any other questions please let me know